Later on, I will talk, of course, about your benefit gala. Oh, thank yes. you. Okay, now, our next question of the evening. How far should we be allowed to go to defend our property? Well, the case of a man from Stockport who allegedly stabbed a suspected burglar to death at his home has reignited the debate. Here's Lucy Siegel. It's something many of us dread, a strange noise in the night or coming home to find a burglar in our house. Most of us don't really know how we'd react, and if we did fight back, could we end up being on the wrong side of the law? But Norman Hall Gardner and his son Liam didn't think twice. It was in the middle of the night, and they'd heard a burglar outside. Didn't call the police. I didn't want to scare them off. I wanted to catch them. So how did you confront them? Well, we, we, were, we were in our dressing gown and slippers, walked past the garage door, and we saw that it had been half prized open. One got away, he ran past us both. The second one ran straight into Liam. Liam grabbed hold of him and then we restrained him until the police arrived about 50 minutes later. How did you restrain him? Can I show you? Yep. Right. This, which um, was my father's, it's a 19th century bayonet, which I keep purely as an antique. It's not in any, in any way a weapon. It seemed a perfect thing. But it looks, I mean, it looks quite weapon-like. It, it does. It's it's not sharp. There's no there's mm. no point to it. it. It is as I say. It's purely an antique. So you took this outside. Took it out. Liam grabbed him. I grabbed him. Pinned him against the Land Rover, and just held the sword in he, his stomach. Not so not pressing. The blade was touching his yes, stomach. Yes. Yeah. And how did he react to that? He was absolutely terrified. Um, I made him take his balaclava off so I could see his face. So if he did get away, I'd recognise him. It was only 10 minutes and I heard the police coming up the drive. Once upon a time, the police, the Crown Prosecution Service and the courts came down hard on people who fought back against those who'd broken into their homes. In fact, some householders who'd taken matters into their own hands faced the full wrath of the law. Norfolk farmer Tony Martin shot and killed a 16-year-old intruder as he attempted to flee from his home in 1999. Martin was then jailed for murder, later reduced to manslaughter. But recently there have been a number of other high-profile cases where householders have killed burglars, but to date no one has been charged. Mark Whiteley used to be a burglar in Nottingham. Did you feel fearful? When you, were, when you were a burglar? Scared to death. Absolutely. Petrified. So do you think it's a good idea that householders tool up and actually confront burglars? You could quite easily pick up a knife and that knife be used against you. You could quite easily pick up a bat and that bat be used against you. You know, you, you're talking about two people in a room with an amazing adrenaline rush on both sides and you don't know what's going to happen. The best thing to do is let them go, open the door and let them run away. The government has said it intends to put beyond doubt that homeowners or small shopkeepers who use reasonable force to protect themselves and or their property will not be prosecuted. Yes, the law as it stands allows for reasonable force to be used in self-defence, but the coalition says it's looking for ways to make that law clearer. But some legal experts believe that there is no need for change. You, you can't legislate how people will react, will react in a very frightening situation. Um, but if they're acting reasonably and doing what they think they have to do to protect themselves and no more, then they're unlikely to face a criminal conviction. That's exactly what happened to Norman. His burglar was arrested and he didn't face any charges. Even though there's so many variables, there's so much you could, your, the weapon could be turned against yeah. you, so much yes. could go wrong. Yeah, I'll do the same again. Yeah. Maybe it's overconfidence, uh, but I would do it again. Absolutely.